You almost ready there, bucko? Well, hello. Carlton G. Judebaker here, documentarian a debunker of life's wonders. I travel the earth in hopes of unveiling the truths behind the secrets that have captivated man for centuries. Yes, I search out the great mythical creature, and more often than not, I find the falsities outweigh the truthities. Loch Ness Monster, false. Bigfoot, no. Leprechauns, there is no pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Insect minds created these folkisms. Insect minds believe in these folkisms. Join me as I swat away the next great myth, the legend of the infinite man. Dating back to the early 1900s, there have been photos that have surfaced of this man, eating in diners, posing in front of cars, and yes, even swimming. Recently, there have been no photographs for the last 10 years or so. But a week ago, these two outdoor enthusiasts took this photograph. Little did they know a bigger fish got away that day. That's right, folks. That fish was the alleged infinite man. My small camera crew and I traveled to this nature park in Farmington, Indiana to disprove this egregious hoax that has plagued humanity for eons. Okay, cut. Thing. Yeah, go ahead and just... Was that good? Were you focused more on me this time? Because I, I, just, I just wanted... That's good? All right. You ready to go on to the next shot? Okay. Rolling? As we see in this photograph, it appears the infinite man is foraging for food. Yeah. Hold on just a second. What do you want? Sick? No, I don't have a sick. Can't you see we're shooting here? Sh shoot! Get out of here, all right? All right, you ready to shoot again? <clears throat> Wait, hold on just a second. Come on. My old cameraman was always at the ready. He didn't stay in the tent until seven in the morning every morning like you do. I'd really appreciate it if. Uh... Oh. Oh man, come on! How are you following? You're the infinite man. So? Well, is it true? What do you think? I don't know what I think anymore. You can't handle my infinite nature, can you? You now bear the weight of infinity. I've watched this footage hundreds of times and I still can't reconcile myself to what happened. Was it a dream? A vision? Did the supernatural really occur? After my experience, my cameraman Raleigh and I parted ways. And when I realized what was happening, it was too late to document the weird consistency of my existence. But I still needed this, someone to tell me I wasn't crazy. Raleigh, come up from behind that camera.